Good morning, ESM. Some teachers have brought up the fact that it seems a lot of people have been out for appendicitis. And then I found out people didn't know what appendicitis is or where the appendix is and what it does. So I was volunteered as tribute to tell you all about it right after news and announcements. Disney workers threatened a walkout over Florida's Don't Say Gay bill. LGBTQ advocate advocates and Disney employees are protesting in response to Bob Chapek, CEO, in a slow response for critiquing Florida's Don't Say Gay bill. The bill bars instruction on sexual orientation and gender in kindergarten through third grade. Disney decided to suspend political contributions to the state. Many conservatives believe Disney should be in the profit of making profits instead of pushing an agenda. President Biden on Monday urged U.S. companies to make sure their digital doors are locked tight because of evolving intelligence that Russia is considering launching cyber attacks against critical infrastructure targets as the war in Ukraine continues. Addressing corporate CEOs at their quarterly meeting, Biden told the business leaders they have a patriotic obligation to harden their systems against such attacks. He said federal assistance is available should they want it, but that decision is theirs alone. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. This Thursday, March 24th, marks one whole month since the invasion of Ukraine. Please show solidarity with the people of Ukraine by wearing blue and yellow on this day. The colors of the flag represent the blue sky and the golden wheat fields in Ukraine. Please hashtag wear blue and yellow as they defend their freedom. Okay, so the appendix is a small tube-shaped sac attached to the lower end of your intestine that sits in the lower right part of your abdomen, and its purpose isn't really clear. Although it's not definitively proven, research suggests that the appendix may store some healthy gut bacteria so the digestive system can be repopulated after illness. When you're a kid, it works as part of your immune system, and when you get older, it stops and other parts of your body take control to fight infections. Appendicitis is caused by the blockage in the lining of the appendix, which rapidly multiplies bacteria, causing it to become inflamed, swollen, and filled with pus. The blood flow decreases and it starts to die. If it's left untreated, then your appendix can rupture. And I know that was pretty gross, but I've got more for you after weather. can't really see anything going on the, on the map behind me, which means that today is going to be a pretty sunny day, but unfortunately tomorrow is going to be very cloudy and rainy. Today we will have a high of 46 degrees and a low of 26 degrees. Tomorrow we have a high of 48 degrees and a low of 40 degrees. And I'm Paige with your weather. If not treated, the bursting of the appendix can lead to pterotoditis, the inflammation of the lining of the abdomen, or an abscess, which is a pocket of infection. It's disgusting, I know, sorry to ruin breakfast, but it's why it's so important to catch it early. <clears throat> the signs and symptoms of appendicitis are sudden pain that begins in the right lower abdomen, or sudden pain that begins around the navel and migrates down to the abdomen, which could worsen if you're moving, coughing, or deep breathing. Other symptoms include a low-grade fever that may worsen as the illness progresses, loss of appetite, and nausea and vomiting, just to name a few. And now, on to sports. WNBA star Brittany Griner's detention in Russia has been extended to May 19th. Griner was arrested at a Moscow airport after her baggage was found to have vape cartridges that allegedly contained cannabis-deriving oil. If found guilty, she could receive a maximum sentence of 10 years in prison. There were some major upsets in the women's tournament. Two number 10 teams beat two number 2 teams. Number 2 Baylor lost to number 10 South Dakota, 61-47, and number 10 Creighton beat number 2 Iowa in a closer game, 64-62. Number 5 Notre Dame also had an amazing performance, beating number 4 Oklahoma 108 to 64. And I'm John with your sports. 
It's important to talk to a doctor as soon as possible if you believe you have appendicitis, as the later you delay the treatment, the more likely you are to experience complications, as your appendix can rupture 48 to 76 hours after symptoms begin. And here I have my special <laughs> guests, Paige and Aileen, who are here to talk about their experiences with appendicitis. So I was wondering if you could talk to me a little bit about the symptoms you had, uh, if you were misdiagnosed, what you got misdiagnosed with, and maybe what treatment you received. Um. I didn't have any appetite and I had a really bad like pain in like where your appendix yeah. is and I got my appendix taken out because it was, I had appendicitis. <laughs> I had appendic Mine was like up kind of like under your ribs um, and then they told me it was my gallbladder. <laughs> so they told me I was going to have that taken out instead but ended up being my no appendix because it wasn't even there anymore. <laughs> Really? Yeah. So it ruptured? It ruptured. Oh. Yeah. It was bad. And then I remember you said something about getting like an IV and like antibiotics. Yeah, they treated, They gave me an IV through a duffel, couple different places actually, but for my antibiotics and then they gave me some big pills that were not fun to take. So. Well, thank you both for sharing your experience. Uh, appendicitis can be mistaken for different things like constipation, Crohn's disease, and severe IBS. But if you have any condition that causes constant abdominal pain, you should seek a medical. T you should seek medical attention. Uh, so hopefully, you know a little bit more about appendicitis, and we're going to leave you with a flashback. So if you're a teacher and remember this, you've been here for at least 18 years. We have a special phone call coming in right yes. now. Oh, good. That doesn't mean I'm still not mad. But we do have a special phone call coming in. We're going to go over to Eileen. Okay, special announcement everybody, Mr. Ferris and his wife have just gave birth, or have just had their new baby, Sophie Suzanne Ferris, is that right? And seven pounds and one ounce. Congratulations. Yeah.